looking to pull today with the city keeping them open extra late until 8 p.m. tonight. Fox 5's Kendall Green caught up with people escaping the heat in Harlem. The sun had New Yorkers burning for relief Sunday as weekend temps soared to the mid-90s. Are you enjoying it? Is it just too hot? What, what's going on? I mean, some days it's too hot, but, like, some days it's not. But, like, when it's too hot, I'll go to that park right there with the little fish in it and get wet. Caleb meant this fish with water spouting out of it a few hundred feet away where we found Christine. Now that it's really hot, this is worth it. Like, we just came from the pool trying to get, you know, the chlorine water off of us to get wet more because it is hot. But when it's, like, not that hot, I'll go to the pool. <laughs> That's the idea Omar and his son can agree with. Cooling down at Marcus Garvey Pool. It was hot up home, and we were tired of the AC. And then he said, let, let, let me go out and enjoy the pool for a couple of hours, you know? But for those who didn't make their way to the pool, a seat under the shade tree works wonders. You got the right idea. You got two hats on, you in the shade. Talk to me about this idea. I like to be cool. At all times. It is very hot. But I don't mind it. I'm an island girl. We used to be heat. But that breeze, that island breeze. Oh, that island breeze. Oh, my goodness. That sea breeze. Oh, my goodness. I want to go home so bad for that breeze. But though she feels worlds away from that breeze, a handheld fan makes the heat feel a bit more bearable. She said this fan works. It's a great idea. Uh, so tomorrow when the sun comes out, you probably want to use this. At Marcus Garvey Park, Kendall Green, Fox 5 News. Back some batteries. All right, the end of the long weekend means people are rushing to get back home tonight in time for tomorrow's start of the work week. Air travel playing out okay so far tonight. Just a handful of cancellations across our area. Airports, TSA expects to have screened a record number of people by the end of tonight. Fox 5's Michelle Ross joins us live from New York Airport. How's it looking there, Michelle? Hey there, Arthur. Well, unexpected travel delays can really put a damper after a nice long holiday weekend. But fortunately, here at Newark Airport, that has not been the situation. Now, when it comes to all of this traveling, here, many of the uh, travelers that we spoke to, they've been getting in and out of the airport quite seamlessly. Independence Day celebrations over the long holiday weekend have ended, leaving Americans hitting the roads and skies to make the trek back home. TSA says Sunday is the peak travel day at U.S. airports, screening more than 3 million people. That's what I heard, so that's why we booked early, and we probably should have had some more time in Myrtle Beach and booked later this evening, but we booked early trying to avoid the traffic. Cassandra Clinton Sampson's flight got in 15 minutes early. Here at Newark Airport, there were only a handful of delays. It was smooth sailing for most travelers. I flew in from Pittsburgh um, on the PA. It was a pretty good experience. It was smooth. I fell asleep the whole ride, so it was like, I remember much of it. Sunday is expected to break traveling records for both flying and driving. Triple LA estimated 71 million people to travel 50 miles or more through the July 4th week, an 8% increase since 2019, beating pre-pandemic levels. Short wait times for baggage made for an easy end to the holiday travel. The only issue we came across today was human error. My boyfriend accidentally booked our flight here instead of LaGuardia because um, we're from Long Island. And um, so now we have to Uber home, which is an extra, like, you know, $130. But... It happens, you know, it's an experience. And AAA also said that the busiest times on the road today were between 2 p.m. and 8 p.m. We are now, of course, outside of that time frame as Americans are getting ready for their work week to begin. We're live at Newark International Airport. Michelle Ross, Fox 5 News. All right, thank you, Michelle. We're following developing news.